With so much domination, do we store our waste? Would it be great if we can find a way to recycle our concrete waste? I grew up in Hong Kong and spent most of my time studying there. Hong Kong is full of high rises due to its high density population. A typical family of four is staying in a 50 meter square apartment. Every inch of space is precious. With so limited space, of course, landfilling is an issue. I asked myself, wouldn't it be good if we can rebuild buildings using demolition material? I don't like the common somewhat biased idea on recycling products, which are typically weaker than virgin products. Why they have to be weaker? This has been my research motivation since then. One day, Kwa proposed to inject rigor into the field, and we never looked back. What can you see on the screen? Most would focus on the black dot, the most eye-catching thing. What about the vast white background? The black dot, in this case, represents our humble recycled concrete. And the vast white background represents the many opportunities for recycled concrete to grow and radiate. With my uh, background on wireless communications and optimization, I've been working on optimizing recycled concrete performance with fruitful outcomes. Teaming up with Vivian, we are one of the first teams in Australia to optimize recycled concrete performance using multiple constraints. Are you aware that in Australia, we are generating about 27 million tons of waste to landfills every year? That means on average, each of us is responsible for about um, a ton of waste per year. Specifically, 74% of these waste, or 20 million tons, come from construction and demolition waste. And a further 85% of these waste, or 17 million tons, come from machinery waste. However, we only recycle 10% of our concrete waste, or 2 million tons, mainly for, for road-based applications. Have we fully realized the potential of concrete waste, I wonder? Hypothetically, if we can completely recycle damaged concrete waste, this can significantly reduce our landfill, introducing our newly developed CO2 concrete. How do we improve CO2 concrete's performance? We inject carbon dioxide into recycled irrigate in a carbonation chamber. As recycled irrigate has a lot of weak old mortar attached, the injected carbon dioxide can enter the old mortar pores, filling up the gaps, improving bondings, and thus make it stronger for concrete applications. Recycled concrete performance is dependent on many random variables, as you can see on the screen, such as chamber duration and pressure recycle aggregate replacement percentage mixed proportions and other parameters. Using training data sets and mathematical modeling, it's possible to optimize recycle concrete performance. On the screen, you see one of our latest results, focusing on the wide background region on the screen. Normalizing to virgin concrete performance, you can see uncarbonated recycle concrete performance is about 30% lower than that of virgin concrete. However, Using our proposed CO2 concrete, the performance can match that of virgin concrete with 10% cost savings. In Australia, we're producing about 24 million cubic meters of concrete per year. If using our proposed CO2 concrete, we could potentially save up to $810 million. Coupling with lower carbon emissions than virgin concrete, CO2 concrete has great potential. It is economical, strong, and environmental friendly. With the help of Innovise, our trading name is EcoBond, focusing on using carbon dioxide to produce durable and high-strength CO2 concrete. We are looking for investors, partners, and network connectors in the sector to publicize this new material. With so much demolition, CO2 concrete is the way for the future. Thank, Thank you. you.